Hey YouTube, and Warrow7 here, coming at you today with Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox Series X versus the Xbox Series S. And let me tell you, yes, I did make this video earlier, a long time ago, but this one is everything that the other one was not. Uh, which is frame graph, split screen, the whole shebang bang is coming at you today. And let me tell you, even the mighty Xbox Series X and S, well, yeah, the X, not the S, but the S, is a, it's a pretty hefty one. It's like a, a newcomer, kind of like the underdog, but anyway they still struggle to pull this game off and here's why in this video but if the video you would like me besides arc to test out of a video game uh it's not in the playlist that, that i mentioned earlier then definitely leave me know in the comment section below what game you would like me to test and i'll get down to it but without further ado let's talk about arc and are we getting 30 or 60 well it depends and especially is split screen playable because we know on the last gen nah -uh. no question it was not playable. Let's jump into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Both games installed in the internal drive of the respective console, and we're looking a little bit at slower times on the Xbox Series X, but no worries, no biggie. Uh, I actually retested it, and it sounds to be pretty much the same. Sometimes the Series X will load faster than the Series S and vice versa. Uh, so let's talk graphics, okay? The frame graph's coming up real soon. As for you, those of you who have come before, you already know how this works. But anyway, uh, before the frame graph, give me I'm going to give you the graphics settings. So we're going to first see the detailed graphics mode enabled that it's in settings under graphical settings uh, that's where you can have that turned on and the game looks gorgeous uh, there are a big there is a big caveat though um, you're not gonna have that on the Xbox Series S because the Series S even though it is an optimized for Xbox Series S updated game they did not engage or activate that detailed graphics mode that is exclusive to the Xbox One X and the Series X so here's the thing that thing will make the game look a lot nicer on either console. You're looking at, if I can if remember correctly, 1080p on the Xbox Series S, uh, and then you're looking at dynamic 4K on the Series X under detailed mode, and I believe it is 1440p to 1800p on detailed mode graphics off. And the reason why I mention off, uh, well, this, right here. As you can see, 30-ish FPS on the Series S and then 30-ish FPS on the Series X. Disappointing, right? Well, you know what's not disappointing? Well, social media networks and if you subscribe to this channel, gives you six months of good luck. Plus, you can leave a like and a bell along the way so you get notified whenever I release these types of kind of videos plus the ones you mentioned in the comment section below. And hit me up on Twitch any day of the week if you like to get personal and close. But anyway, besides that, you can fix this. This is not going to be your ARC experience. But before I tell you the fix, I need to show you split screen. Because, you know, some of you do play this game on with some buddies or your spouse. Uh, and you're looking at about the same thing, which is good. So here's the thing. You might be thinking, this is disappointing, bro. The thing is, it is not, bro. Uh, by the way, you can play this game with the Xbox Game Pass. Little bubble on top. How do you can get that microsoft rewards points for free so you can get your free xbox game pass ultimate made it for you just for you especially for you uh before i sell you on streaming live academy the thing is you're looking at a nice a split screen experience on both consoles it's gonna be 30 ish but it is 30 compared to the xbox one's sluggish stop part 30 you know you know what i'm talking about it's unplayable on the xbox one consoles on split screen no questions asked right uh before we jump into the fix for these FPS, I'd like to invite you to hit up Streaming Live Academy, where I write articles so you can read them and learn and educate yourself and not be an ignorant. Plus, I make, well, my team and I, not just me, but, <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a content creation PDF, okay? And you can sign up for free with your email and download it and kickstart your content creation career and become somebody or as a hobby. Anyway, here you go. On the right, Series X detailed graphics, as you can see, beautiful. Yet, here's the catch. If you turn it off, you get 60 FPS. So, if you ask me, I would turn it off completely. Turn off detailed graphics. They're not worth sacrificing the 60 FPS. And it's a pretty darn stable one. Yeah, it does have drops here and there. And heavy circumstances with lots of buildings and action, you know, those crazy PvP moments, I would suggest 
I will for sure having detailed graphics turned off, but I would suggest having a VRR or FreeSync enabled TV or monitor. And so here we go. Here's the split screen with detailed graphics turned off. As you can see, you're getting pretty much the single player experience, which is quite impressive to be honest, uh, especially that it's pulling off uh, split screen stuff. But on the Xbox Series X, if you turn off that detailed graphics, of course, you can see on the left, 60 FPS pretty much. Of course, it fluctuates here and there, but nothing VR or FreeSync can't really fix, you know? It's pretty nice once you enable that. Uh, so definitely, there you go. Uh, you're looking at 1080p, 30 FPS, split screen or not, on the Xbox Series S, and then on the Xbox Series X, pretty much dynamic 4K, 60, as long as you turn off the detail graphic, which I highly recommend. But anyway, I'm in World 7. Any more questions, let me know in the comment section below or on social media. Until next time, keep it fresh, keep it dandy. Peace. Peace out.